Greetings, Tecmo Super Bowl fans. I am joined again by the Retro Sports Gamer. Tom, how are you tonight? I am great, Troy. Looking forward to this matchup tonight. Well, that's great. We've got a good one for you. Two veterans of the Tecmo scene, Lucky Tool, uh, also known as Thule in the community, and Suicide King 81, Gerald Smith. Uh, both are tournament organizers. Uh, Thule is the co-founder of the, Com- the Kumite in Detroit, and Gerald runs the Swamp Bowl down in Louisiana. And he's actually uh, made it up to Green Bay. We had a tournament just for him. Uh, he had to do some work-related things uh, back in the fall of 2015. We called it Battle from the Bayou. Really good player. He actually won that tournament. Uh, and Lucky Tool just won the Kumite. Was the, he actually was the first Michigan resident to actually win that tournament. Uh, so it was always someone from out of the area that, that won it. So two high level guys and expect a very, uh, entertaining matchup here. And let's get right into it. Buffalo Bills and Houston Oilers. This is a high flying matchup. Tier one teams right here. Buffalo Bills, Houston Oilers. The Bills got Thurman Thomas, QB Bills, 81 pass control, and Warren Moon with that 19 max speed, also 75 pass control, great arsenal of receivers. Let's see who gets the best of it here. And I didn't see the alignments ahead of the game here, but we're interested to see will uh, Gerald lean on one of the slower, more pedestrian ball control guys, or will he go with White? Well, Lorenzo White has that 44 max speed, so... He gives it a little more speed at running back. You just got to get out of bounds if you use him as a as a back. We have a called pass one there. Goes up to Jeffries. He's covered. No completion. Using Bruce Smith now on defense. Looks like another pass one. War Moon scrambling around here. Passes to Drew Hill deep. He dives and it's incomplete. And I tell you what, on that particular play, wide receiver two is always a nice option. Usually beats the drone defenders. Looks like he does have the Renzo White in the game. Dangerous in the middle there, fourth and six. I don't anticipate a whole lot of punting in this one. And wow, he's going for it here early in his own territory. Calling pass as expected. Throws another one to Drew Hill. Big diving catch right there. And uh, doesn't look like he was able to get back in time to get that jump. Uh, I think he baited him to come up a little bit. He knew he was going down to wide receiver two. Uh, the angular throw from Moon is, is usually pretty true. And this time going with Odoms in the backfield here. Burn route to Duncan, but it is properly defended there by the drone. Jumps up to flex that second down coming up past four formation. Smith is now selected on defense. Both these offenses are so good. I mean, you can you could definitely go for it on fourth down more so than with other teams because, you know, their quarterbacks are just so good. They can they can make things happen. So, uh, switching up here is uh, Lucky Tool not really giving Suicide King Gerald here an opportunity to really get settled on what uh, where he can attack each play uh, for that pre-snap read. And now we have another first down, Smith, against Warren Moon, who... Looks wow. like he might be bottled up there, but a nice little juke there into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston Oilers. It looks like Suicide King is on his game. He's utilizing Drew Hill and that speed in the Oilers passing game. And it pays off with a couple diving catches and a nice scramble by Warren Moon. So a nice uh, uh, sustained drive there and uh, get some big plays with that uh, fourth down completion. And now uh, Mo- uh, sorry, Miller on the return here. Popped corns a defender, out past the 20, and out past the 25-yard line. First down and 10. Looks like we have a couple uh, motion plays here, top and bottom to Thurman Thomas. Yeah, the motion plays are really underutilized in Tecmo. That play was called right there. But a lot of top-level players, if you can mix in a couple motion plays, they can be effective, especially in the running game. And I'm going to guess these guys have probably played each other a hundred times in league play in the past. Nice run there by Thurman Thomas. Uh, so Tool might have the taps. We haven't really determined that as far as um, this particular matchup. But if he knows that, those are great isolation runs that uh, get you in a one-on-one situation with the with the opponent. And another great run here down to the bottom, out to the 30-yard line, out of bounds. Thurman Thomas getting it done on the ground. And that's the advantage O'Tooley has in this one, that running game with Thurman Thomas. The Oilers can't match that, so they just got to take advantage of the weak, weaker Bills secondary. And now pass two is called uh, 
up to wide receiver one, James Lofton. It was a pick your poison there. It was read at the bottom who was going into the end zone or uh, take what's underneath, and wisely Suicide King does that and keeps it in front of him. Another run play here. Thurman Thomas outside, and he's just too fast. Touchdown, Thurman Thomas. Really nice run there with the uh, motion play run two. Really nothing doing there for... Um, uh, running right at shoulder. So we'll have to see if he gets Johnson involved in the game, uh, mixes it up a little bit so that he's not in that spot. And he gets this receiving core. At times that might be the better uh, choice on defense. But uh, we'll see how, how it plays out. And as expected in this high-flying matchup, it's 7-7 in the first quarter. We're expecting a lot of scoring, and we're getting it so far. So looks like we have a weak side open run play called... We don't have an action to this. We know it's coming, and does a good job. Popcorn and Conlon comes in, but the drone finishes off. I think that was Smith coming off the line, just destroying the blocker. Yeah, he must have had the scouting report on that one, using Conlon and breaking up that play. Really here's nice Lorenzo juke here. White with a nice run. Wisely getting out of bounds here. That 19 ball control is a real liability. I want to see it's something a 1 in 8 chance of putting the ball on the ground when you're contacted by a defender with that stat. And that's why you would leave in Lorenzo White so you could get something going in the running game and make it a threat. Nice completion there to White up top. Likes to stay in bounds instead of going out of bounds, uh, but it works out for him. We have a pass three here. Crossfield to Duncan this time. Kelso's there to break it up. And Lucky Tool doing his scouting report there is not going to get beat uh, again by that play in that fashion. So we see a Kelso again. And now we have one receiver up at top. Kelso goes with him and Moon takes what's in front of him first down. Nice run by Warren Moon. And Tooley's really mixing it up with his user defender. Right now he's sticking on Kelso, but he's been all over the place. So it's... Oh, wow, and a covered catch on Kelso for another Oilers touchdown. What, what we're really seeing right there is the quarterback pass control and receptions coming into play there. Kelso just uh, statistically not enough. Even in the in position there, you're going to get those covered catches. Chances of interception very low there. Um, calculated risk, but a good one by Gerald, who now takes the lead 14-7 to with about two and a half minutes to be left as this drive starts here for Thule. And he has plenty of time to score a touchdown, especially with the high-powered Bills offense. Um, right there, Suicide King 81. You know, he's doing what he has to do. He's going to throw a few in coverage because he does have that advantage with the pass control and the, rec the receptions of the receivers. Single back formation. This time he's switching to John, so we do have called. And he uh, lets it go here down to Reed, looks like. Covered, incomplete. Double coverage. And as you know, with double coverage, it actually calculates both guys breaking up the pass or the interception. And uh, there, a little bit of risky throw, but it works out okay for O'Tooley. And there's a little throw to Thurman Thomas, and he gets out of bounds wisely. Still a minute 51 of Tecmo time. And uh, I had a conversation recently with um, uh, Louis Bunagel who said something about if there's a third guy there, it, it, it completely jacks up everything. Uh, so, <laughs> for, and I can't remember, I'll have to go back, and if you know in the comments, uh, he had a uh, an article out there that he likes to post about that third defender. It looks like we've got third down coming down in complete passes, and now motion play up, middle, or right, where will he go? Childress this time, one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and a nice stop there by the drone decision time. Tule down possession. Hard to slow down the Oilers, especially with their secondary. And ballsy play here going for it. I'm like surprised he's going for it here. Big plays happen on fourth down. Dropping back to pass. Deep throw to Lofton with Richard Johnson in the vicinity. Oh, wow. And he throws it over him. What is going to do it my way? That's what he's doing. It's unbelievable. He pulled Johnson up at the last moment just to create that separation. Like a surgeon cutting for the first time. And now we have a tie game here. Not much left in this half, but maybe a score too soon. We'll see if Suicide King can do something with this time that's left over. And I'm I mean, guessing they, they were probably jabbing each other a little bit in chat after that touchdown. Yeah, it, it was a gutsy call, but in a game like this, you don't expect too many defensive stops, and it really worked out for O'Tooley there. 
So unless there's an immediate call play on something like a pass one, you're probably looking at the last play they have here. And uh, these receivers are fast enough to get down there. So rushing may be a dangerous process here. And looks like he thought about doing it, and then he ran back. But uh, you're not going to get there. And looks like Hill in the clear. Blocker's wow. not going to do anything for him. Can he outmaneuver him? Oh, and looks like Thule oh. gets stuck in the mud. Unbelievable. End of the half. Drew Hill from Warren Moon for the half-ending touchdown, taking the lead 20-14. to 14. With very little time left on the clock, these teams were able to score two touchdowns in a less than a minute to end the half. Unbelievable right there. And this is a high fly in action game. Let's see what happens in the second half. O'Toole's receiving. He's going to get a chance to tie it up. Miller with a nice return here. So is it, is it Miller? I always would say Mueller, Miller. I never really knew what the proper pronunciation of his name was. Now we can do both. Um, it could be Miller or Mueller. He's not a popular enough player for me to really know. You're going to have to ask a Bills fan. Pass three underneath the wide receiver to Andre Reed over the middle. And we have ourselves a first down here, pass four incoming from QB Bills. QB Bills dropping back to pass. Just right the left. It's a crossing route for the first down. And this drive has been a little bit slower so far than just throwing up a, a big bomb at the end of the half, so. Five yards on first down. It looked like there might have been a brief alley there, and it closed out, uh, closed down in a hurry. So now we have more motion plays down, and uh, Childress getting caught up. Lucky that uh, Thurman did not break away there. Only four yards in that one. Drone cleaning up, and now Johnson against the pack. Looks like pass one. Tula just taking the first down, moving the chains, and now we have first and ten. That's a power. Uh, if you pick run there, which when you have Thurman Thomas, like I said, that's the difference. You're going to force that run call, which is going to open up those passing lanes. Suicide King's doing a really good job of this drive of shutting down Thurman Thomas. Even when he's guessed the wrong side defender, he's still slowing him down. But Jim Kelly is a threat, and he scrambles there for a little six-yard gain. Childress in tow, but uh, Tuli doing a nice job there, sucking him up. Oh, but now Johnny Meads with the fumble recovery. I was going to say what an it was an incredible uh, maneuvering ability there to get dead to rights to a positive gain, and now Drew Hill with the completion. It looks like he's got the taps on Tuli here. Wow, and Drew Hill is having himself a game. He is going. He's too fast. And that's going to be a touchdown put Suicide King up two scores. Wow, 27-14, extra point coming up. Drew Hill putting the shoot and run and shoot. <laughs> oh, man, that was fast. Um, yeah, those taps, man, you know, every once in a while, they come in handy. Yeah, it's, it's usually, I, I think about on average, you know, a couple times a game. Somewhere between 1.5 to 3, I think, where they really, the tapping can really matter. If you win those taps, it could be the difference in the game scoring a big touchdown like that. So, uh, Miller now dancing around and getting just past the 15 yard line. Two has got his work cut off for him. He does have the player one advantage when it comes to onside kicks if he can get scores and he's going to have to get a stop somehow, be it a turnover or a defensive stop. And this time he's just letting it fly. Looks like uh, Lofton and uh, no dice. The quarter is over. Yeah, it's tough to do that on Richard Johnson. He has that 75 interceptions, so if he gets to the ball and it's not a JJ or diving catch, you know, he's just going to break that up like he just did right there. And this time I called run three on Thurman Thomas. He hasn't gone to that play very often today. Um, goes right back to back with it. And still, Suicide King's doing a good job slowing down Thurman Thomas, not letting him get easy first downs. And we got another fourth down coming up. This is probably going to be the ball game if O'Toole doesn't convert. So 
this time he's using Childress, and we do have... Okay, it looks like he's just going to run it all. Uh, there, there were a couple guys that he might have been able to squeeze it into, but risk management says to get the first down and move on. Um, I imagine no matter what happens, you're probably going to end up seeing uh, some sort of uh, onside kick after a score. And he just keeps it on the, the ball on the ground, and I think Suicide King is going to be content to let him dink and dunk down the field when the fourth quarter down two scores. Yeah, and at this rate, it looks like in the second half, Jim Kelly's been a better scrambler than Thurman until this play. Nice run down to the 30 there. Just just being patient with it. Uh, and now he's, he's within uh, short-term striking distance from any play in the playbook. Nice running there. It takes a loss, but the risk was uh, there if the guy gets bumped around. Thurman Thomas is fast enough to dodge drones, so... Maybe he's got more room for a, a deep throw here. You know, Tully's going to need a touchdown soon. Touchdown, James Lofton with a diving grab. Uh, timed that perfectly. I feel like he's been in that part of the field before. Yeah, he did what he had to do, you know, with the Tecmo time running down. It's, it's not like real time, so you got to manage it well. He knows he's got to get in the end zone soon to give himself a chance. And here we go with the onside kick. No dice. Warren Moon with the recovery here. Uh, he's going to need some Tecmo God intervention to move forward. And now uh, wisely uh, taking Lorenzo White and his poultry ball control out of the game. Or did he? is he putting him back in? Looks like he's leaving him in. Yep. Gerald McNeil, I don't know if you <laughs> – he still may not make it into a uh, – uh, sighting here, but uh, 94 ball control looks really good. Yeah, I'd throw it to him every play, just let him run around with that. <laughs> yeah, he better not fumble with that 94, but you never know what can happen. There's still that small percentage. So now, really, Suicide King, he just needs to hold on to the ball, get some clock down. And just get a couple first downs, and he could really win this game. So Tuli's got to get a turnover soon. Nice completion down there to Hill. Would have liked to see him get out of bounds. I know you want to see the clock running, but uh, just got to be smart here. He's probably going to let him throw over the middle and try to caption. You know, he cuts it back inside. And there's the fumble, and that's the break that Lucky Tool needed. Uh, and now with a minute 39, if you can uh, get into the end zone, we'll be looking at free football, fifth period here. Let's see if you can yeah. make this happen. O'Toole's well, done everything to put himself in this position. I think he kind of gave that one up in the middle of the field, trying to bait him into throwing it so he can Absolutely. get a possible fumble, and that's exactly what happened. And now you're going to throw to your money, man, but uh, under the duress there, QB Bills throws it out of bounds and uh, second and ten coming up here. Yeah, so far he's thrown a lot of deep balls to Lofton, but uh, Andre Reed has got that 69 reception, so you can't forget about him. He could come up big later in this game. Big run by Thurman Thomas. First down, only 48 seconds left. We have pass one called here. We have... Everyone going down the field, I won't be surprised if he throws down to Reed here. Yeah, Reed's the speedster. Let's see what he has. JJ in the end zone. The defense is in front of him, and that is a touchdown. What a comeback here for Lucky Tool in the fourth quarter. That looked like a one-handed grab to me. Maybe that's how Odell Beckham learned how to do it. <laughs> Andre Reed style, one-handers all day long. And I would expect here uh, Gerald to just run this out of bounds, and he does. So we're looking for a fifth period here. First score takes it, folks. Let's see who gets the ball first. Opportunity knocking. And uh, now the pressure's on Lucky Tool to uh, continue the offensive power that he's been uh, working with. And this has been a magnificent turn of the event here. Uh, you know, Suicide Kings in the driver's seat. Up 28 to 14, looking like he's going to get a W here. And now he has to kick off in overtime to O'Tooley. And O'Tooley's been carving up the field, so it's going to be rough. Wesley gets out of bounds with Miller. 
every every time you touch the ball, that risk gets. You just see sometimes players will get a little more conservative in these situations. Childress gets tied up there on run two. Thomas not able to get out of bounds five yards, and uh, we'll see here. We have another motion play, so run incoming. This time runs to the opposite side of Childress. Nice run here in the clear. Gets out of bounds just past the 40 in his own territory. First down in 10. We have pass four coming up here. And that can happen. If you run straight at him, you pick the wrong user defender, then you're susceptible to a large gain, and that's what happened there. Risky gamble there. Childress rushing in and uh, forcing the throw. Looks like he's... Now this time he's backing up. There's at least two guys open in the field. This time Childress goes with uh, the tight end, and it looks like uh, gets there just in time. We did have uh, Lofton open underneath, but uh, I'd like to go over the top. And now third down is big time here. We have pass one. Let's go to Lofton. Just out of the outstretched fingertips of Lofton, and now a fourth down in 10. What do you do here, Tom? Oh, I think you got to go for it. He's been going for it the whole game. You might as well stick with your guns and Jim Kelly. See what happens. Looks like the tight end's open. The wide receiver's two is open. Running back two is open. And he goes. I'm not even sure who the intended receiver was there, but Gerald in perfect possession. And now with Moon and company in territory, goes cross field. Poor throw this time. Second down. Suicide King is in field goal range, so he could kick a field goal if he wants to right now. Um, but it is online play, so it's a little bit more difficult. So he's going to try to get closer and take a W here. And obviously you have uh, Tally, I believe, is the linebacker four or one there that would be make, rushing in. Um, and he can get there, so you can't spend too much time aiming it. Risky toss there. Good pass control helped out. Fourth down, he's just going to have to go for the win. And here it is for all the marbles in this one. Tally does not get there. Looks like he just pressed the button right away, and it was the, the indicator was straight ahead. Tony Zendejas closes it out for Suicide King 81 over Lucky Tool. What a wonderful game. This was fantastic to watch. Yeah, back and forth action. Just when you think one guy has the advantage, the other guy comes up with a huge play, and the result is Suicide King 81 in the Houston Oilers beating O'Tooley, Lucky Tool, and the Bills 31-28 in overtime. Well, looks like uh, from the, the tail of the, uh, the better part of 400 yards of offense for Buffalo, just over 350 for Houston. Uh, and the balance got him back in it, but just not being able to close out that last possession uh, ultimately led to the victory. And uh, well played by both players, risk management, um, and just knowledge of the teams, and uh, really a, a good time to watch. So I'd like to thank you, Tom, for uh, hanging out with me on this one. Uh, folks, if you like this one, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Would you have gone for it on fourth down in that situation? And uh, which of these two teams would you like to be? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see more of this tournament, we're about to release videos uh, from Bracket Play for the players that moved on. Both of these players are, in fact, in the bracket. Go ahead and hit subscribe, and you'll get alerted when we have more videos from Tom the Retro Sports Gamer. Also, check out the links to his YouTube channel and his Twitter account. We'll have them in the description. Thanks a lot, Tom. Thanks, Troy. All right, we'll catch you guys next time on GB Land Online Techmo.